Okay, it's part two of my Cicada Life and Death series of videos on YouTube. In part one, I concentrated on the beginning of the Cicada season in Australia, which happens in November. It's a curious time because there's lots of predators and very few cicadas. Maybe being an early bloomer in the cicada season isn't a good survival strategy. From what I understand, the only survival strategy cicadas have is camouflage, and also safety in numbers while making lots of noise. So in this episode, we look at December and January. Both are summer months in Australia, and in the year when I did this cicada study, it was also very, very stormy. We had lots of really heavy rain and big hail like I've never seen before in my life. And I did find a cicada which had been knocked out after a hailstorm. So yes, stormy weather can play havoc with the humble little cicada. If you do find a cicada, you need to remember this. Here is an insect in its final phase of life. It's taken many, many years of living underground to emerge as an adult cicada. And it's this final adult stage that presents to a cicada dangers that didn't exist when it was living underground. Okay, let's do it. David Attenborough, eat your heart out. Well, you don't see that on YouTube every day. Oh, I can absolutely guarantee it. This is down the side of a house. It's a tree that's often uh, had the cicadas that come up, which are six months out of the cycle. And actually, I was parking the car and I spotted a lovely cicada there in the tree. I'll just carefully reach in and let's see what sort of cicada this is. Boy or girl, it's a spiky tree, so I've got to be careful here. Okay, it's quite a feisty black red-eyed cicada. Very beautiful looking cicada, very vibrant red eyes. And we'll take a look underneath. And this one is a boy. We can see the drums there. He's not making a sound. I can hear all these counterparts making a sound in the tree. And maybe I'll put him back uh, where he's going to feel a lot happier. Maybe that spot there and just settle the cicada down. Okay, nice and happy. And he will find a spot to, well, maybe sing a song or flutter away. Cicadas often use camouflage, so they're a little bit hard to find. But if you're a certain colour and you're on the wrong sort of colour, well, the camouflage doesn't work, does it? This is a beautiful black cicada, a red-eyed thing. It's a male. It's making a little bit of sound there. It's, oh yes, nice and feisty. There's lots of birds around, so I don't want this one to fly away on me. And I'll just actually um, put it somewhere where it's a little bit harder to see. I'll have to go for a bit of a walk here. I'm actually just walking near uh, the red-back spider that lives in the pipe, uh, which is uh, just there. I do wonder whether she survived the deluge of rain we had recently. I've had to do a little bit of a walk to find a suitable tree. There's some nice white cockatoos there having a feed in the morning grass. And I think that darker barked tree there would be the perfect one for Mr. Cicada. Oh uh, yes, it's an old rustic pine tree going by that there on the ground. It's got a uh, very rustic bark on it. I can see a cicada shell there, which is a good sign. I can also see another cicada shell there. And I think if I put... Uh, the black cicada on this nice darker bark, it's going to have a much grander chance of survival. Yeah, see if I stand back here, um, that cicada is blending in very, very nicely. You can barely see it. I have to laugh because on that last cicada rescue, there were some people watching me from the dog park and they must have thought I was talking to the tree because that's what it looked like. And I thought, oh, maybe I should go up and explain to them what I'm up to. But then <laughs> I've got to go up to them and say, I just saved a cicada from a certain peril because it was on a telegraph pole and then I put it somewhere where it couldn't be seen and then they would have really worked out that I'm a total loony. Did you ever wonder why did the cicada cross the road? Well, sometimes they don't make it across. Yes, a poor chap there has fallen on the road there and uh, sadly passed away. Okay, I think there's a cicada down there that's seen much grander days. Okay, there it is there. It's a green cicada. It's also male. I can see the drums there. I'm just trying to work out why has it passed away. I'm looking for signs of bird attack. I'm not seeing it. It might have just died of uh, natural causes. It is uh, the right time of the season to have them dying from natural causes. Yeah, so obviously the ants are having a nice feed there. And what I will do, the ants are having a nice feed of me as well, is uh, 
get the cicada off the path. Ouch, the ants are biting me. And onto the grass. And don't worry, it'll take no time for the ants to find that cicada in the grass. Okay, another cicada on the path. I'll come down and see uh, what is wrong with this one here. It's a black cicada. It, uh, it may be still alive. Yes, uh, it's only just alive. It's very, very weak. It hasn't got the deep red in its eyes there. I think it's just uh, like served out its natural life. And uh, I'm pretty sure they just fall from the trees. It's another male. It's been a real mixed bag of cicadas uh, this cicada season, I can tell you. And what I will do is I'll take the cicada away from the path. I'll just put it over in the grass there. Be a nicer way to have the uh, ants eat it. Okay, uh, I don't like the look of this. It's not a cicada shell, it's actually the nymph. And this nymph hasn't made it to a tree. It would have crawled out of the ground last night. And I've just seen a few ants near it. Uh, I don't think it really stands a chance now. The cicada hasn't emerged from that shell. Uh, that is uh, really sad, but hey, that is the way, sadly, it works or doesn't work for some of these critters. I'll go and put it over in the grass here. And nice and carefully. Oh, actually, there's another cicada on the ground here. Oh, don't tell me it's passed away as well. Let's have a look at this guy here. It's a black cicada. Oh, it's okay. It is, um, let's have a look here. It's female. No drums there. It's, um, it seems okay. Okay, nice red eye colour. Yes, I'll find a tree for that one there. Oh, it's going to be my new best friend by the looks of it. And, um... Hopefully, uh, get it somewhere away from the ants. They're quite tickly things uh, when they're on you, I can tell you. Beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful. I'll just get that cicada onto the tree here. I hope it's got enough strength. It isn't really feeling uh, like it's that strong, or maybe it's um, okay by the way it's climbing there. Yeah, that's nice to see. Go, little cicada, go. Actually, uh, that might have not being the best place to put that cicada because just above the cicada you know what I can see look at that bear that bear is paper wasps they are nothing but a nightmare I hope the wasps do not go for that cicada let's see if it just passes by my little heart's going pitter patter pitter patter come on cicada get past those wasps please get past the wasps it's getting past the wasps thank goodness for that very good news is that yes, the cicada is uh, now past the wasp nest. And there's a nice shot of the wasp nest. Uh, those things sting really viciously and they keep on stinging you. Look at this beautiful old rustic bit of uh, electricity infrastructure. Yes, it's still standing. It's got some steps on it. And as I come down here, just take a look at the nails in this pole here. Imagine if those nails could talk. Imagine the stories they could tell of the signs that they've held up over the years. And you're probably thinking, what does this have to do with cicadas? Well, absolutely nothing at the moment. But if I keep tracking down, oh, just a little bit more, I get to my point. Yes, cicadas will basically crawl up on just about anything to go from a nymph to an adult cicada. I can hear a cicada in trouble. I'm just having a bit of trouble finding it. It's on the gutter there. Oh my goodness, what's happened to this one? Oh my goodness, there's ants attacking it. That's it. It's a male, obviously, because of the noise. What is going on there? It's... Wow, that is really weird. It's not really moving much, but it's making a sound. I hope it's okay. There were certainly ants on it. I've never seen that or really heard that before. It's definitely uh, making that sound because I can feel it vibrating in my hand. That is a first, I can tell you, and I've looked at many, many cicadas and a little life cycle when they're going from nymph to adult. Very strange, I'm not getting much life out of the legs on this one, that's really, really sad. It's noises, um, oh my goodness, it just stopped. Oh no, one more click out of it, what was going on there? Oh, the poor thing, hey? The poor, poor thing. I was actually walking on the other side of the road and I thought there was a cicada under bird attack because they'll start to rattle and make sounds, that is if they're a male. Uh, but sadly, I think that one has just passed away, basically in my hands. Uh, very, very sad. And I will just find a nice spot for this cicada and I've got a, a tree here. 
and I'll just put the cicada under the tree here and then the ants and critters can um, well do what they do in the whole circle of life, eh? To that poor, poor cicada. Very sad. I'm just here trying to get a bird noise. I want you to hear this bird noise because it is a extremely noisy bird. Here we go. Oh my god. Now we hear that at like 3 a.m. in the morning and apparently it's an Indonesian cuckoo that lays its eggs in other birds' nests. Uh, basically a parasite bird. Horrible thing. It's a big thing, big bill. Uh, rarely do you see them. I can see a cicada shell on the front wheel of my Toyota. That cicada's now become an adult left a nymph casing there. But if I track across the grass here, we're going to see something, oh, a little bit sad. So this one here is a cicada which was in its transitioning phase from being a nymph to an adult cicada and sadly it has failed to get out of its own shell. I don't think there's very much that I can do here. I can't um, rewind history and make things right, sadly. Uh, the cicada's made, well, let's just say, after seven years it's made uh, maybe a wrong decision or maybe the environmental factors were against it. It was a very cool night last night. Yesterday was a very warm day, so there might have been the trigger there to be a night to come up and uh, basically be an adult but as we can see here uh, this cicada has totally failed in that procedure I can see some movement here it's trying to move its wing there there is really nothing I can do I can't come along and get this cicada out sadly what happens here is it either becomes bird food there are birds scouting about this is early morning when I found this or the ants will then take advantage and uh, my suspicion is the birds will get this one because it's right at the height where birds are scouting about it was basically off the ground when it was on that bit of uh, grass there yes uh, it is a very very uh, important time for cicadas when they make that decision after seven years which is a life cycle of these guys to make that transition to adulthood uh, if they get it wrong or if they come against the wrong sort of night and environmental conditions change um, tragedy can strike and basically that is tragedy in my hand there I have put the cicada back on the piece of grass there again I can't do anything here it's just the way nature plays and it will become food for something else along the way well I'm in my front yard I'm also noticing the signs of cicadas that's the holes that they come up out of ground after being underground for many many years and there's a lovely set of three right there so if I'm seeing cicada holes there, hopefully nearby I'll find cicada nymph casings and hopefully the cicadas have become adult cicadas. Oh my crikeys, here's our council wheelie bin. I can see shell casings on this wheel here. There's one, two there and they've become adult cicadas. They've been free of the casing. And I can also see another one on the other wheel there. Ew! I tell you what, I'm really glad I sprayed my bins of white lithium grease because the redback spiders, if they were here, would have their webs all through here. And one of these cicadas may have been the perfect meal for them nasty redbacks. Ooh, this is a very nice find, but it's in a very risky area. There is a cicada that is still attached to the shell that it's come out of. But there are ants just below it. My crikey, if that cicada was a bit lower, it would have become ant food. It's a very nice looking cicada, this one. It's sort of like motley green, and there it is priming itself for its last weeks in adult life. It's a classic example of cicada fate, you know, if that cicada had only made it to here and was emerging here, those ants would have most certainly taken it out, but it's just free the ants and hopefully it's going to be A-OK. -okay. I don't want to disturb the cicada, but I do believe, uh, by looking it down the back there, we're dealing with a female. I hope I'm correct there. But just sitting there, um, and not on the tree, it's still vulnerable to bird attack. If a bird sees that, it will swoop in and pick off that cicada really really fast oh uh, do you remember that cicada that was uh, basically couldn't get out of its shell very very sad let's see if I can find it it was down here okay I can see it there and I tell you what I bet you I bet you the ants have eaten that to nothing like I said before I can't perform miracles I can't reverse time and there was nothing I could do to save the cicada it is as light as a feather now the ants have got into this, uh, they've eaten all the meat out from inside and what's left on the outside is the nymph shell and also the outside of the cicada which is a little bit like the armour on a tank if I could explain it like that. Um, very sad but just think of it like this, that cicada has given a nice meal 
to the ant colony that resides in this area right here. That's one example of what ants can do to a cicada. I've actually found a couple more. They're just here. Let me get these into my hand. So with the ants still crawling all over these, these are as light as a feather. The wind's going to blow them away if I'm not careful. Uh, yes, uh, when the cicadas fall to the ground and whatever's happened to them in their final weeks of life, uh, they do end up becoming food for other things in the garden, which is actually a very, very good thing. Now I'm starting to respect the ants a lot more now. I'm starting to understand uh, their place in the garden. Quite amazing little critters. Um, always respect them. There are some more amazing cicada finds in my backyard. Uh, the first one here, I think, what's happened here, it's a cicada that didn't make it uh, successfully out of its shell. And I think it's a fairly recent thing that's happened here. I'm just going to take a look at the wings. Yeah, see, this is what happens when they fail to come out of the shell successfully. Um, they become, well, they, they're easy pickings for whatever is around. As you can see there, the ants have definitely got into this cicada. It is a female cicada. We must be educational. And we'll just leave that for the ants to, um, to enjoy. The next scene in this amazing cicada life and death study relates back to something I showed in part one where I found a cicada in its last croak of life and I gave that cicada purpose in nature. I hope that explains the next scene. Do you remember this pot here? It was about a week ago. I put a cicada under here. There was this green pony ant nest under here. I can see the ants are still rustling around. Let's see what's left of that cicada. Oh my crockies. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, there's actually a cicada nymph there. Uh, right underneath where, well, where I put that other cicada. I just grabbed a stick. This will become a cicada rescue because that nymph there is going to be in a stack of trouble if I don't get away from this area because this is directly where a green pony ant nest is. That is just amazing. Oh, come on. We'll get that rid of that pony ant. And we'll, I'm not putting my hand in there, I can tell you that, because I will be bitten and stung uh, by those ants. Look at that nymph. Man, it is well and truly kicking. Just get it away from the ants. Oh, man. This is out there. Get, get, get rid of the ants. Come on, little guy. I've got a, a little place for you to go. Wow, look how active it is as well. It's, uh, it is amazing. There's not often you see the nymphs like this because, well, they're basically, well, hidden underground, aren't they? You don't know what they get up to. Get away, ants! I'll just uh, get those ants away. Oh, and we'll save this little guy. I hope he's now ant- Oh man, he's beautiful and soft. Look at that, that is amazing! It must be tonight this little fella's going to come up and uh, become an adult. Just beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful. I'm actually wondering whether that shell casing gives them protection from the ants. Because that was right where the uh, pony ant nest is. And this uh, cicada nymph is very, very vibrant, very strong. I'm hoping it's in good health by the way it's moving. I, I think it is. But the problem here is that we're still quite a few hours away from night time when these guys uh, tend to do their transition from being a, a nymph like this to an adult cicada. This might sound uh, totally crazy, but it's about the only thing I can think to do. There's plenty of other cicada holes here. What I'll do is I'll get this guy back at, down into a hole. I'm trying to reverse engineer nature here. And hopefully that will get him away from the ant nest and he can come up, or she, because we don't know what sex it is, uh, when it feels fit. Okay, <laughs> it's gonna keep digging its way out, or who knows? I don't know whether I'm doing the right or wrong thing, I just hope it's uh, better off away from the ant nest. Well, the good sign is it hasn't come back up. It was the strangest cicada rescue I've ever performed. Okay, well, back to what I was doing before I did that quite miraculous cicada rescue. The green pony ant nest is still here. I can still see the pony ants, and I think the cicada carcass is now here. There's certainly a lot of activity been going on here. Let's just see what's left of this cicada, eh? I've actually forgotten what colour it was. Was it a green one? Or whatever. It's certainly, uh, well, not looking as good as the last time I saw it. I don't want this pony ant to bite me. It's crawling up the stick. Um, yeah. It has certainly been well and truly uh, pulled apart. But I'm not at all surprised. Ants are my friends in the garden. They get rid of a lot of things that I don't want hanging around. I will put the pot back over the pony ant nest and the poor old carcass cicada. I'm outside at night now, that's the cicada which failed to pump its wings up properly. 
has fallen victim to the ants. And if I follow the wood up here, hopefully we're going to see something quite magical. Yes, uh, there is a cicada there. It is just coming out of its nymph casing there. It needs to pump up its wings and it needs to keep away from the ants. Very, very delicate procedure there. It does take a bit of time to happen. I do notice there are some ants marauding around here. And I also notice up here, quite miraculously, there is another nymph there. Probably looking for a place to basically come out tonight. Hopefully the ants will not get it. It's always worth the effort to find the places where cicadas hatch. Uh, pick off the right time of year and it's a real treat to see the cicada make its transition from being a nymph to its final adult stage. This is the most dangerous time for a cicada. It's transition phase from nymph to adult. It can't crawl anywhere, it can't fly. And you can see there are ants there nibbling away at this cicada as it's trying to become an adult. Now this is done at night. I think I was shooting this at around about 10 o'clock at night. And for the cicada, it becomes a race against time. It needs to free itself from the shell. It needs to establish its wings and get the wings firm. And then by the time daylight comes around, it needs to be ready to fly because if you're still stuck there and vulnerable, there'll be birds in the morning who will pick you off really fast. So for me, that represents the life of cicadas. Quite a miraculous thing to see. Down on the deck here represents the death of cicadas. They can die in all sorts of different ways. That was well shown in this video. And if I drag along the dirt here, I can see there is another nymph there. And that is possibly the nymph that I saved from the green-headed pony ant nest. Quite amazing. Oh yes, I can see the rubbish piles on the side of the road. But what has caught my attention because we're dealing with cicadas is a cicada nymph in a stack of trouble there. This little guy here obviously hasn't found a tree. I dare say it's possibly still alive. Uh, although the ants may have taken it out. Man, the ants go crazy when they find these. And maybe the best thing to do, and I've done this a number of times, is I'll put this somewhere where it's not going to be so tragic. It's on a path at the moment. I will move it to the grass. I've never been able to tell the sex of these cicadas when they're still in their nymph shell. Maybe there's a way of telling that. I've, I've never been able to work it out. And what I'll do is I'll put the cicada in a nice little sunny spot right here and the ants can come along and find it there. Now here's a curious one. There's a plover bird there. You can either love those birds or hate them. And there is actually a cicada on the road that's trying to pick off and eat. And I'm going to try and save the cicada. That is if the cicada is still alive. The thing I'm up against is the traffic and so is the plover bird. It may have been a bit of roadkill or it may be okay. Okay, there it is there. It's a black cicada. I don't think it's in that good a shape. Uh, no, unfortunately, uh, it has passed away. I'll get it off the road. Here is that cicada. It may have been under bird attack, fallen to the road, or it may have been hit by a car. Yes, that does happen. Uh, sadly, it has passed, and, uh, well, basically all it is now is uh, bird food. Or well, if that plub is still around, it'll become plubber food. I'll put it on the ground beside the road. There's green pony ants working there. Who knows, the ants might get that cicada or even that bird will come back and pick it off. Look at the ant at the front there of the cicada just picking pieces away. Quite amazing. It's taken no time at all for the ants to find that wondrous cicada meal. I can see something really sad up here. There's a bird with a cicada and I'll just go in there and it's got it there on the brickwork. Uh, I don't think there's much I can do here. Uh, the bird's got to eat, that's the way we're going to look at this. And that's the thing, the birds uh, have a real feast when it's uh, cicada season. I can tell you there's plenty of food around. Plenty. Just for now, the bird's going to, yeah, it's going to not want to let me get near it while it's got that cicada. The bird's just taken off, but I'll probably see the remnants of what the bird has pulled off the cicada. And yes, I can see a cicada wing there. And I can also see the head of the cicada. It's uh, quite tragic, but remember the bird has to also eat. And it won't take too long for ants to find this. In fact, there's an ant there. It takes no time at all. And they'll um, do things with this uh, in a very antrific way. My crikey, Charlie's, you don't see that on YouTube every day, I can tell you. That's amazing. What is that ant gonna do with the wing? Is it gonna strap it on and start flying? I think the ant has got the headpiece there, has got the flesh. There's a bit of flesh inside that headpiece. Whether a cicada has a brain is uh, another query there. 
Uh, but it's certainly contemplating what's going on. It's, um, I think it's a green-headed pony ant. Yes, uh, rather interesting ants, those ones. Apart from interesting ants, they're rather strong. What is that ant going to do with that cicada wing? That is just crazy. The weird things that I see uh, looking at cicadas, I tell you, I think that's one of the most weird. I haven't got any fishing line connected to that. That is the ant pulling along the cicada wing. I wouldn't have believed it until I've seen it. Now I do believe it. It's quite amazing. If you're wondering about the wing, uh, well, the ant's taken it down off the bricks and the pony ant nest is just there. Yes, I can see a stack of ants, but I'm a little bit curious exactly what are the ants going to do with that wing. There must be some value in it if they've dragged it down to the nest. Because ants are our friends, what I will do is I'll grab the headpiece here. There it is there, nice and fresh uh, from that bird that got, grabbed the cicada and I'll go and put it down next to the ant nest. Yes, we've got to feed our ants, don't we? In the best way that we possibly can. Okay, there you go. There's a hearty cicada face, we'll call it. Breakfast for you. Dig in while it's fresh. Crikey's in no time. Uh, that cicada face <laughs> was dragged down into the nest and the wing is quickly following it. In nature, there are winners and losers. The ants were winners in that one, okay? And of course, the other winner was the bird that captured that cicada, but the real loser, of course, was the cicada. I just saw a bird uh, get a cicada. It's just there. Oh, damn. Okay, it's going over there. I think it's a female because it wasn't making any bleating sounds. But I'm not sure whether I can actually get that bird away from the cicada if I... No, it keeps picking it up if I go near it. If I swoop in fast, if I let... Oh. I'm trying to save it. Um... It's just there. If I run in fast, maybe the bird will drop it. Gas! Oh. Have I been able to save it? Oh. Damn. I'm just looking very carefully here. I mean, well, look, the bird gets a meal, doesn't it? Oh. It's sad, isn't it? Oh, here's an example of cicada camouflage. Can you see the cicada on the tree there? Oh, maybe it can, maybe it can't. Let me see if I can go in and grab this beauty. It's a black red-eyed cicada. And it is right there. It might want to pounce up because it might sense that I'm nearby. In fact, it's got a bit of a funny wing there. Hello. Come here, my little sweetheart. Um, it's a girl. There you go. Yeah, nice and strong. And I will put her directly back onto the tree because she probably thinks, who is this nightmare person? There you go. But with the wings a bit malformed, that's not a good sign, eh? Just as she's climbing up there, you can see a dent in her armor just behind her head. So she may have been under some sort of bird attack. Maybe that's why her wing's a little bit wrong. Yeah, sometimes you see that sort of indentation on them and you know they've been in a bit of strife. Anyway, have a good cicada life whatever is left of it and she's actually climbing away from me rather nicely look at her go okay i can see some cicada action down there and it looks a little bit gruesome uh, this would be a cicada after a bird attack uh it would be the beak going through there the head of, of the cicada is missing all we've got is a tail section it's weird because normally the birds will eat will, will like this end piece and you'll often find the head um, but that's sort of classic, you know, what birds do. Maybe the bird got disturbed. And I also see here, because it's that time of year, look at that beautiful uh, beetle there. I wonder if that was part of the, the bird food as well. Giant, I call them a giant Christmas beetle. There you go. Bit of a double bonus there. Very uh, Christmassy indeed. Okay, look at this beauty. Uh, I call these cicadas a tiger cicada because of the colouring. It's, um, it's a half-sized cicada, is the best way I can say. It's a little girl, and it is just absolutely stunning looking. Um, I don't often see this type of cicada, and I'll just get her uh, back where she's safe again. I'll get her onto the tree here. I think she's quite feisty, and she wants to fly, so as soon as I put her down, i got a sneaky suspicion that she'll want to fly. Am I going to be right here or wrong? What do you think? Sometimes I just get ready, and sometimes I just get ready to go and then sometimes I just sit there and do absolutely nothing 
I think if I give her a bit of a tickle, she'll fly for us. Go on, come on, little one. Okay, uh, found another cicada, and this one looks like it is in a stack of trouble. Let's see what's going on here. Oh my crikeys. Its wings have um, not formed properly, it's very deformed. It is a female cicada, and it's a stinking hot day, and this thing is very, very hot. This cicada is very lucky to be alive. Malformed wings. Okay, hasn't been able to come out of the shell successfully. Being on the hot concrete, there are ants getting about. It would have been a suicide mission. I will save the cicada and put it up into a tree. Hopefully, where it will have a bit of a sanctuary. This looks like a nice tree here on the nice shady side of it. And I'll put uh, Mrs. Cicada here. There's actually a millipede going by there. There we go. And hopefully, uh, she will settle down on the tree and not try to fly because she can't fly in that condition. I'll tell you what, there has been a lot of cicada rescues in this uh, life and death of cicadas. Uh, it's been rather nice to do. With Mr. Cicada there, I've actually just noticed there is a stack of millipedes on this tree. In fact, the more I look, it's basically uh, infestated with millipedes. Everywhere here is millipedes. And if I come right down to the bottom here, there's some really, really big ones there. Look at that there. It's just, it's just amazing. My crikey, this video isn't the life and death of millipedes, but it could easily turn that way. While I was mincing about millipedes, a little cicada there has climbed up to a nice height. Lovely to see. I've just picked up this poor cicada here. It has just been in the bird attack. Uh, you can see its armor has been taken away midway down the cicada. I think it's missing a wing. It's in a lot of trouble. It also looks like it's got a head injury going on there. It's still alive. Uh, but it's very much in shock. I've just swapped over to another hand so I can just see if it's a boy or a girl. Poor thing, hey? Oh, it's clinging onto my finger because it is just so scared. Um, I did look, it was, it's actually a girl. Okay, there we go. It's, um, yeah, it's, see, my finger is very much a place of sanctuary. Okay, this looks like a nice tree where this poor cicada that has been attacked by birds uh, can now reside. It doesn't want to leave my finger. Come on, little girl. You're better off on the tree versus my finger. I'm just getting her to accept the tree there. Yes, birds have got to eat, but uh, in my mind, cicadas have also got the right to live. I'm not sure how much uh, crawling and movement she'll do. I think she's very much stunned after that bird attack. Well, hopefully she's camouflaged there and she'll be left alone for the rest of her life. There's a bird that's got a cicada and I've got an umbrella with me. And uh, maybe if I throw the umbrella, I'll be able to get the bird away from the cicada. It's still flapping around on the ground there. Okay, I'm gonna throw the umbrella. Choo! Oh! Oh! Okay! Oh! Oh no! Oh no, it's too late. It's too late. Now uh, the birds eating the back of the cicada off and that's what they do. Um, I was a bit late. Now, I was initially on the road and then I saw it on the path and uh, somehow it's still alive. This cicada still has a lot of strength in its legs. Its wings have a lot of strength as well. Um, but sadly, it's total, its whole back end has been evacuated by the bird um, attack. Uh, I dare say it was a female, I hope I'm correct there. Um, and really, uh, you know, you gotta look at this as being, well, it's sad, but it's also food for the birds. In the cicada season, uh, they really have a treat when the cicadas are out. And um, it's a very typical sort of attack that you see birds do. Um, they tend not to eat the front part of the cicada because it's quite, it's got a lot of armor up the front here, but it's got a very fleshy back on it. And uh, what can I do with this poor thing? Uh, very, very sad. I think what I've got to do is just fling this to the grass and let the birds finish off uh, what they were doing. Uh, because I am denying a bird a feed by interrupting there. I can't save that cicada. Oh, I can see a cicada here. I can see a cicada. I don't think this is going to be a very happy story. 
It's on the brickwork there. Hmm. Okay, it's um, a red-eyed black cicada, uh, quite a common cicada, and it has uh, had bird attack happen to it. Uh, this is a very, uh, very common thing if you have eagle eyes, and you will find this. Uh, the bird basically eats out the back of the cicada, and um, so often the cicadas are still alive after they've had the rear end of them removed. But I think it's just a, a, a tragic way to go. Mind you, the birds get a feed. Maybe I can determine the sex of this cicada, um, but the part I really need to see has been taken away by the birds. Um, so often when you see a, a cicada attacked by a bird, the wings will be one of the first things to be ripped off. And I see them sometimes, you'll see peck marks in the head in a way to try and disable the cicada. The birds know how to pull these things down, but I also notice they will often do a very quick grab of that abdomen part of the back, that fleshy part of the back seems to be one of their favorite meals and if I leave the cicada here it will become food for the ants so yes some good will become of that poor poor uh, cicada has been attacked by a bird I can see a green-headed pony ant there that will find the cicada that will report back to the nest and the ant nest will have a fantastic feed you know ants they work uh, smart and they work fast in no time at all the ants got into there got some nice fleshy parts of the cicada what a feed there's a bird there for cicada, and if I come in quick now, oh, pss, 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 pss. Oh, dang it, it got away. I just noticed the cicada here at the local shops, uh, obviously been under bird attack, oh crikey Charlie's. And it looks like the ants have found this one now. So cicadas are amazing feasts for the birds and they also become amazing feats for the ants uh, somehow. Uh, that one is still alive, that would have been killed this morning because I noticed this sort of activity happens a lot in the morning and it's one of these things do you come in here and what can you do well you can't save the cicada uh, the ants have got to feed but what I might do is move this away from the path here get it down in the garden and it's going to be a little bit more reverent isn't it hey um, don't be sad this is how nature plays out okay here we go one two three wooshka it's uh it's down in the garden Okay, I'm in my backyard and with some very keen eyes I noticed on the ground there it's a very very small bush cicada it looks like the ants have grabbed hold of that one and uh, sadly that cicada's passed away tell you what the ants um, are feverish workers often in this cicada study it's focusing on the larger cicadas and I'll just carefully pick this one up so I can have a bit of a, a more careful look at it um, of course I'm getting the ants all over me it is very small I'll just get this one up. So there we go. Uh, it may have been a bird attack has got this one. I noticed the back part of the cicada is missing. You can see how tiny this one is. Um, they are incredibly difficult to find <laughs> when they're alive because they move oh so fast. Uh, it's not often I've seen them in this state either. Uh, basically because they are so, so small that I'll put it back with the ants. I think in the end we basically all become ant food of some sort, don't we? I might sound like I'm repeating myself, but I tell you what, don't mess with ants. Uh, they know exactly what they're up to. Down at my local shops and I see on the pathway here a poor fallen soldier cicada. Let's hope it's still alive and let's just see uh, exactly what we've got here. Okay, it's a black red eye cicada, it's male and it's um, quite weak. I dare say it's at the end of its life and um, Yes, that's uh, what happens to them when they've had their couple of weeks of adult life. Uh, it's a natural thing. Don't get too upset by it. And I'll go and put it somewhere in a nice grassy area so it can have a very nice final few hours. Now I look more closely at this cicada and it is a male. The drums are there. I notice right at the end part where its male part is, it's totally missing. Wow, I'm not sure whether that's a natural thing or that was part of some sort of bird attack. But crikey's what a way to die hey i will find a tree and put this cicada to rest and i do have to be careful there's birds scouting around in the morning uh looking for cicadas like this the well easy prey in a sense and i've got a nice tree here and i'll put the cicada down here and it will hopefully become something for the ants ants are our friends okay that's probably a very fitting ending for this video which is all about the life and death of cicadas i hope you learned something in this video and found it interesting or else I'm in a stack of trouble. Crikey's, it's a very, very different YouTube we deal with today.